question number one, and it says, fill in the table based on historical data. So what I've created here is an outcome and a probability. We're leaving this middle section open for right now. So what are your outcomes? No storms. No storms. And so start working on your sheet there. No storms. And tropical storms. If I can spell. And then the different categories of hurricanes. Category oh, one, category two, three, four, five. It's the, we're on page 22, 22, and category 5. Now, here we do, what we're going to look at here is probabilities. If you look at the data, it says over the last 100 years, 16 hurricanes have hit happy shores. There have also been 14 tropical storms. And storms that didn't develop in the hurricanes in that time frame. The following table shows the frequency of these storms broken down by categories. No more than one storm hit Happy Valley in any given year. So what's our sample size? How many years? Hundred. All right. So what we're going to do here is where it says question marks, we're going to put number of um, events. We're going to call it events because we have no storms. All right. How many no storms did we have? How many no storms? Okay. Look up. Let's let's go backwards then. How many tropical storms did we have? Okay. How many? Fourteen. How many category ones? Eight. Eight. How many twos? Five. five and three, four, and fives? One, One each. One. Now, what do 14, 8, 5, 1, and 1 add up to? So, what, how much? 30. So, how many years did we didn't have storms? 70. All right, so you had 14 tropical storms, eight category ones, five category twos, and one each of three, four, and fives. Those add up to 30, so that means we had 70 years without storms. So now we can go into probabilities and make our formulas. And again, we're going to do this all year, creating formulas in the spreadsheets. Probability equals cell B4, B4 divided by what's our sample size in years? 100. So equals B4 divided by 100. Now, how can we make that formula work for everything? Anybody remember? Grab the square till you get the plus sign and pull it down, and it adjusts it for everybody.
So that's the answer to question one. All right. So what's the chances of having a Category 5 storm? One out of 100. One percent. Now, in the insurance industry and in meteorology or whatever, they talk about 50-year storms or 50-year floods, 100-year storms or 100-year floods, and then they also have the 500-year storm or flood. Those are the ones that, if you get one of those, you know, it's going to be incredibly devastating. So now we're talking probabilities, and that's insurance companies totally work on probabilities. So that's what we're looking at for probabilities for these storms, and we're going to come back to these numbers later. You can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet here, I've got a bunch of stuff already, other sheets ready for you. But we're going to do those tomorrow, but we're going to work on problem questions one and two today. Okay, question, next question. And it's on 23. Consider the following simple example unrelated to hurricanes and happy shores, but related to the concept of insurance. Suppose an insurance company offers death and disability policy that pays $10,000 when you die, $50,000 when you're permanently disabled. It charges a premium of $50 per year for this plan. Is the company likely to make a profit on such a plan? So, we're going here. What's our policy income outcomes? We've got three possibilities. Death, disability, and neither. All right. And they're accounting for 1,000 people. So the payout for death is how much? $10,000. And for disability, 5000 And if you're alive, you don't get nothing. Now, we're not going to do um, we're not going to do a formula for this one because it's fairly straightforward. Um, it says to answer this question we use historical data that tells us the death rate in any one year is one out of a thousand people. So you could do this one divided by a thousand. Oh, that put a date in there. Sorry about that. So we are going to have to do this. Going to do equals 1 divided by 1,000. Oh, come on. Wait, so the payout is Okay, what we're going to do here is work backwards a little bit. Sorry, this is... Yours did? Why is mine doing dates? Yeah. I did. Equal. One divided by. <laughs> so let me try this. Equals. Let's try parentheses. Or what we do this is event. So we had one death, and how many people got disability too? And the rest were um, 98, 97 per people were that way. And our sample size is a thousand. Well, I'm, so what I'm doing, trying to get mine to work, since some of yours did and some of your, my, you didn't, 
I just put in the event. Okay, one person out of a thousand dies, two people disability out of a thousand, and 97 don't. So now we can do our formula equals D, was it 15, divided by D16. What doesn't it like? Oh, E. Oh, thank you. Still doesn't do it. I don't know. So it's zero point zero zero one. And this is 0 0.00. zero zero. It's point zero zero one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll fix it. Two zero point zero zero one. And this is zero point what? Zero nine seven. All right. So, to see what the insurance company can expect, imagine if they insure exactly 1,000 people. Also imagine that in a perfect accordance with probabilities, one of the policy holders died, two are disabled, and the remaining 997 survive. And actually, and the company will have to pay $10,000 to one client, 5,000, so a total of $20,000 total. All right. So, because one person died, so that's 10 grand. Two people were disabled, so that's 5,000 each. So that is 10 more. So the total, and I'm just going to work down here, total payout is $20,000. All right. Now, that's twenty thousand divided by a thousand people. Okay, so it cost them for that thousand people. It cost them um, payout per policy, and I'm just going to use this for working space, is $20. All right? Because they paid out $20,000 per thousand people. But how much are they charging per person? Fifty dollars per person. Does it say twenty dollars? Yeah, it's twenty dollars. Let me see if I can do this. Nope, it won't do that. Oh, there it goes. Um. Now. The premium is 50 bucks <laughs> so net profit is well, 30 dollars per person and i can hear nina up in front saying that is net total is thirty dollars per person times a thousand or thirty thousand dollars profit for the insurance company. All right.
So now you can see why insurance companies do things on probability because they can make, what is that, 60% on their money, pretty much. That's a pretty good profit, 60%. But again, you have to also then consider what's it cost them to run their company, and so that cuts it back down. The, and so we're going to stop at that point. Tomorrow we'll pick up, but here's what your assignment is for today. Find some event currently threatening some region in the world that could affect insurance premiums. Be, be prepared to share it out. So go to CNN or someplace like that. Uh, yep. And, yeah. No, nope, just find me a disaster, impending disaster. You have to, you have to email it in. No, oh. don't be that Hmm. Okay, let me shut off the recording before everybody gets rowdy here.